Hey guys, it's Niza from the Crenovator team. Today I want to show you Crenovator's AI Career Advisor. This is a useful tool we made to help developers or anyone in the IT field to plan out their career path. So first things first, head on over to the login screen and you'll just need to log into your Crenovator account. And once you log in, you'll notice that you can click the AI Career Advisor on the right side over here. Or if you want to click somewhere else, you can also click on the AI tools on the left side and then click AI Career Advisor. Whichever option you click, you'll be brought to this page to see the AI Career Advisor Maria. Now, as you can see, you have four options to choose from, but I'll be focusing on career advice today and sharing you some prompts that you can use to create your own career plan. So, I will be coming from the point of view of a person who doesn't know anything about cybersecurity. So if you have some experience in your IT field, just change how you prompt the AI career advisor. Okay, so when you click the career advice option, you will be given a template prompt. So it says here, I need career advice on insert topic here. Can you provide me with some guidance? You need to swap this with the IT field you're interested in. So in this case, I will switch it out with cybersecurity. And then I will just send the message and see the answer that Maria provides. So based on what Maria is saying, she can provide guidance on a career in cybersecurity, but I'll just need to be a bit more specific on what areas I would like to know about. And guys, something I missed out about, it doesn't have to be cybersecurity. You can choose other things like computer science, database engineering, software development, and anything else related to IT. But yeah, coming back to our prompt. So Maria is happy to help us right now. I just have to give specific prompts. So let's think about it for a moment. I think I want to know the foundations of um, cybersecurity. So one question that I could ask Maria would be something like, what are the foundational languages for cybersecurity? I've called, I've created a prompt already. And I'm just pasting it here and I will enter it now. Let's see what Maria answers with. Let's give her a moment to think. Okay. So in the field of cybersecurity, having a foundation in programming languages can be beneficial. And then she's listed them down. So if I was completely new to cybersecurity, these would be the languages I would plan to learn. So things like Python, C or C++, Java, scripting languages, SQL. And I guess this is a good start. You can read it in more detail, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I'll just be quickly going over the answers that Maria provides. Some other examples that we could ask Maria would be perhaps what are the common operating systems needed in cybersecurity? Let's give her a moment. Okay, so if you are interested in learning cybersecurity, if you're totally new to it, then here are some operating systems that you could use in cybersecurity. Things like Windows, Linux, Mac OS, virtualization and mobile operating systems. I believe this is like Apple's and the Android stores, their operating systems. Can't remember the name right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, if I was interested to learn cybersecurity, now I know what programming languages I need, what are the operating systems I need, and let's try a few more prompts that I saved. Um, so we could also ask Maria things like this, which is, what do I need to know about computer networks in cybersecurity? Because computer networks is also a core foundational skill to learn. Let's send in our answer and see how Maria responds. And Maria is telling us that I, if I wanted to go into cybersecurity, I would need to learn things like network protocols, networking concepts, security devices, scanning and enumeration, packet analysis, network defense and monitoring, and wireless networks. So I, if I was going to into cybersecurity, I think I would just write this down on a notepad, then ask Maria more questions, maybe more in-depth questions, like, for example, going back to the languages, uh, 
let's talk about Python. So I could ask Maria something like, um, how does cybersecurity use Python? And see what Maria gives me. So with Python, I can learn from Maria as well that in Python, I can I should look out for things like scripting and automation, penetration testing, malware analysis, web application security, network security, and data, anal data analysis and visualization. So besides knowing the basics, we can always drill down on the basics to learn more about what we need. But I do know that cybersecurity uh, to get a job in cybersecurity, I would need some certification. So I can ask Maria a question like, um, what type of certification would I need for cybersecurity? Then I hit enter. Let's see what we get. So based on Maria's answer, there are actually many certs to go for. I could go for CompTIA Security Plus, Certified Ethical Hacker, sounds quite cool. Um, certified Information System Security Professional, very long name, CISSP, something called CISM, CISA, uh, GIAC Certifications, and Offensive Security Certified Professional. So let's just do one more prompt because I don't want this video to go too long. Um, how about, let's ask Maria this question, which is how to become a certified ethical hacker. Let's just enter this and see what Maria responds with. Okay, so based on Maria's response, first I'll need some foundational knowledge, things like what we discussed earlier, networking operating systems, the programming languages, etc. Next, I would have to find somewhere that has a CEH training course. CEH is Certified Ethical Hacker. Um, study the exam blueprint, practice in a lab environment. So uh, it's kind of like enrolling in school, then practice some questions, review any uh, study resources, then register for the exam, pass it and get certified. So again, I don't want this video to be too long. But I hope you have a general idea of how to use uh, Maria, the AI career advisor. You don't just ask one question and then uh, see the results. You have to ask many questions, see the results, and ask more questions based on those results. Only then can you get a better understanding of what you need to do to get to your uh, to get somewhere in your career. This way, you will have a much better understanding of what you actually need to do to advance in your career. This is especially useful if you are really stuck and don't know what to do because you can just keep asking questions until you get an answer that makes you think of a new way of doing it. And yeah, that's all for this tutorial video. I did not want to make it too long. Um, hope you've learned something. And if you're looking for a change in career or job, you can go to Crenovator and click the button on the top right. And with that, you'll be able to apply for a remote or hybrid job. So I hope this video helps. All the best in your IT career.